Okay, so before we get started, um, I have to show you something. And it's kind of hard to explain without showing you, or I would just explain it to you. Now, um, let's take, now that we know app navigation, and let's click out a cube 3D. Keep, unclick it, still edits unclicked. And click out a draw ball. Okay, so the ball and box, right? Okay, normally what would happen is if I went to alpha and grab document, it would capture both the ball and the box. All right, so let's do another little thing. Let's initialize ZBrush and hit yes. Let's go back to the cube. Edit. This time, let's geometry, divide, 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 divide. Okay, see how smooth that is? Doesn't matter how smooth it is, it's the fact that it's got more depth. Okay, now, let's go back to the sphere. Edit. Alpha. Grab doc. This time, it worked. Okay, for some odd reason, whenever ZBrush sees flatness, absolute flatness, it thinks it's at the end of the road in OL. And let's consult the wiki here. I like this. Clipping planes. Once we allow painting with depth, we have the question, how deep is the canvas? I.e., how near the nearest point? And how far is the farthest point? Just as the width and height, you must be finite. So, infinite. Um, so, there. basically what it's saying is, you should have no problem with this but yet, ergo, here it is. All right, so now just kind of remember that when you're making alphas. When you have a flat spot, when it just goes absolutely flat, you're going to have some problems. So just keep an eye on it. Best way to do that is go to grab document and kind of keep an eye out for this. If you see everything appearing, it's working out for you. If something's missing, you're kind of screwed. So go back and rethink what you're making. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's do a little thing. Let's make something out of, oh, primitives, and then turn it into a brush, shall we? Okay, 3D cylinder. Click and drag it out. Okay, now let's pretend I'm making a screw. Okay, or a screw head. Now, this is a flat spot. Okay, there's a perfect example of how I got to rethink that. So, if I divide it, then take smooth, divide it, divide it, divide it. Okay, there we go. Now, let's go unclick, let's go to 3D Sphere, put one of those on top and go to move. See, I can see that this is off kilter, so I'm going to go back to edit, hold shift, then go back to move, and s kind of pull it back. Maybe move it a little bit. Okay. Now keep edit unclicked, and go to cube. This time I'm going to hit subtract. Yeah, have you ever ran into these screws by chance? Yeah, these are the ones that you're running all over your house trying to figure out what device can I use other than the average screwdriver to unscrew the stupid thing because nobody has this screw head, unless you're a construction guy, and then you're laughing at me. But other than that, yeah, I hate that screw. All right, so let's go to Alpha, grab Doc. Now, here goes the problem also. I have a lot of space around this, okay? Making it very hard for me later on to turn this into maybe a brush that kind of, well, um, repeats itself. So here's another way to do this. And there's like three different ways to do it. I'll go, this is the first way. I can go grab doc. I could take it into Photoshop and crop it out. I can also being that the longest process, I want to do a shorter way. I can go to Material Grabber here, 
switch, turn off something in here called auto crop, click in the center of it, drag it out, and there I have the area around it. Now, one thing that's going to happen is this is a very low res document. Very low res. And I just grabbed, if I zoom out, I just grabbed a little tiny section of a very low res document. Make it even lower res. So in the next video, I show you another way of doing this. So, and we'll compare the two. This would be my first alpha. And the next one in the next video and compare the two side by side and show you exactly uh, what procedure I might follow and why.